last, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. Let's start strong with a tutorial video on how to half flip on Rocket League using keyboard and mouse. I apologize, controller players. I know you outweigh us KBM players by like 90 to 10%, but that's okay. There are a small minority that still need to figure out how to do it, so I'd recommend going and finding a different video. I I've never directed somebody off of my videos before. I would recommend going and finding a different video to watch to figure out how to do it on controller. I don't even know how to do it on controller. I don't like controller. Uh, it's a multi-step process half flipping, but it's not that bad. It just takes a little bit of practice. And I'm gonna go over everything, all the basics. I'm gonna start from square one and end it up and show you kind of all the ways to do it. Um, as you can see, I have my keyboard and mouse on screen, so it should be able to translate what I do pretty well and in real time to my hands. So for starters, you're gonna have to know how to backflip. It's a very simple mechanic, but I wanna get it out of the way for uh, beginning beginner players. Um, you start backing up with S and then you double click, right click or whatever your jump is. I have all the default controls on uh, for keyboards, so it shouldn't be any different. You just wanna backflip. Practice doing that. Once you've got that down, move on to the next step. The next step is to flip cancel, which is a mechanic you can use so you don't fully follow through on a shot. It essentially stops your flip before you finish going through. So as you can see, when I backflip, I land back on my wheels. But if I flip cancel, I'll stop on my back, and then I won't have to worry about flipping all the way over. Uh, I've actually tried to half flip before I knew how to do it, just by going like this, or uh, flip canceling, and then I just flip over, which I mean it works, but <laughs> it's not great. So once you've mastered that, again, you hold back flip, you double click, and then right after that second jump, you want to hold W, and you can do it the other way too. It's called a flip cancel. Once you've mastered flip canceling, you want to add the last element, which is the air roll. Now, I have air roll left on Q and air roll right on E, but I also have air roll shift in A and air roll shift in D. I use air roll shift in D uh, to half flip, but if you feel more comfortable using your air roll keys, that's totally okay, it works the same. So again, you want to backflip, you want to flip cancel, and then you want to add in an air roll. So you flip cancel and then air roll around. I'll show you again. Flip cancel, then air roll around. And then I can do it with uh, Q and E as well. Flip cancel, air roll around. And I can do it to the other side. Flip cancel, air roll around. It's not hard at all. Um, it just, it might take a little bit of practice. And I recommend you learn this con or this uh, this concept because it helps a ton in games. I actually decided not to try and go through with fully learning how to do it until I probably was high diamond, just because I was like, man, this is a difficult maneuver. I don't really want to have to deal with trying to figure out how to how to do. And once I learned it, I was like, this is way easier than I ever could have imagined it. So. Um, I thank you guys for watching. Again, I'm so sorry that it's been like six months since my last upload. Uh, I've been super busy with school and I have to put that first as opposed to playing Rocket League as much as I love playing Rocket League. Uh, let me know if you like the tutorial videos and if there's anything else that I can do as a tutorial that you might be curious about, I'd be more than happy to make a video on it. If uh, it gets enough likes or and or replies, make sure you like the video. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. Uh, it's 2019, I hit a thousand subscribers over a year ago, and we're gonna hit 2k this year, that's a fact. Uh, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, it's been a pleasure, I'm out, see you guys next time.